Hey, good evening, everybody. How you doing? Blabba Dave, how you doing this evening, brother? Hope you're doing well. Okay, so before we actually get the stream started, I need to apologize. The last three nights I have not streamed at all. Work got ridiculously busy and pretty fucking hectic and I have just been exhausted, like absolutely fucking drained um, over the last couple of days. So apologies for not having a stream, but we are back. Everything should be a little calmer right now. So we should be able to at least enjoy it a bit more, have some fun, and let's try and make up for the last three nights that we've been fucked up. <laughs> Just making sure the music and everything is good, master volume is sorted. I seriously need to go through all of these and learn what they do. That's what happens when you've got mods running that add a fuck ton more items. But this item, however, I did discover is a phenomenal item. 3D glasses gain 6% critical strike chance and 6% critical strike damage. So unlike the glasses, that just does um, critical strike, obviously dealing double damage. This only gives me critical strike chance. It doesn't actually impact how much damage... The critical strike does. Um, these are also phenomenal. So, to balance this, so this is a 10% increase in critical strike chance. This is an increase in the critical strike damage. And this is flat damage. So, these are the overpowered versions of those, but obviously it has to be individual. The other item that i just mentioned the 3d glasses it's a softer version of both but this way it does both things so we are gonna progress with the, my favorite character my favorite class We'll just do a normal, actually let's do an easy difficulty run. We're going to try and go for that 20 waves because I really, really, really want to unlock the 4-leaf clover. Is it the 4-leaf or the 47-leaf clover? No artifacts, everything on. And let's start the run. Levative. Why the why the sad face? What happened? Why the sad face? Why are we crying? Next chair, doing a part or void cradle you open will contain double the amount of items. Nice. Oh, nice. So we've got this the fleece hoodie. Next time, the buff received this duration increased by 40%. And then we get another double free. Just check something quickly. So 
sorry, this is bugging me. Something's not looking right here. There we go. Okay, sound and everything is good. You guys can hear everything correctly, right? Yeah. Sound levels look good. Amplify the radius of area buffs and holdout zones by 20%. And increase critical strike chance by 5%. Critical strikes mark enemies when a marked enemy is damaged. All other enemies... Don't know what that said. Um, all other enemies marked take 10% of dealt damage. The mark lasts 10 seconds. Flat healing, it's not too bad. Got a Luna item over there. There we go. Increasing base damage by 7%. That's a flat damage increase. That's phenomenal. Um, get a maximum of 20 chance to dodge attacks. The slower you're moving, full chance while not moving. Half chance. Okay. The glasses, beautiful. Bustling fungus would be better if I can get the void item for that. And then area damage close by. Nope. Okay, so we're up to 18% crit chance. I think we've got enough to start off with. Some damage items, but not exactly a lot. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. I expected a lot worse. I don't like this item. 25 chance to drop a powder pass, pick up on kill. Treasure ammo packs, powder flasks. Mm. It's okay. Got a rubber duck. What the fuck does a rubber duck do? Gain 3% armor. Hey, what up, Roswell? How you doing, bud? Nail bomb attacks that deal 120% damage or more releases a shrapnel grenade that explodes for 20 by 30% of your damage. Enemies hit that launch. Oh my god, the things that why is why is it a paragraph? Are granted two seconds of immunity to the effect. Okay. Attack deal 35% total damage up to 1. Additional enemies within 13 minutes. Yep, taking that. It's AoE damage, but not how you expect it. Uh, reduces secondary skill cooldown by 
Not the bustling fungus. You and your drones occasionally drop electric sparks. Nope. There's a couple of things I want to scrap that's currently in my inventory. Things that I don't do. Yeah, I'm doing a hunter's run trying to Ooh, shovel. On hit, gain a stack of mulch. Every 8 seconds consumes all mulch to heal 3 per stack. Okay, don't know what that means. So I've got mulch there in the bottom left. Don't know what that did. Some kind of healing, probably. Yep, doing our hunter's run, trying to get those 20 waves. So I've just got the easiest option going, but I'm still doing a clean run. Bucket list move 25% fast, 24% faster, but reduces by 80% during the boss fight. Hmm, don't know if I want that. Gonna check one more place for shit and then come back. A key. I can also get rid of the key. I don't want the key. What's this? Enemies with less than 25% receive permanent damage over time. That could be nice. What's it going to take? Please don't take something important. Fuck. Of course it takes 3D glasses. Okay, my crit chance dropped back down to 12. Why does it always take the important shit and not like the, the actual shit? a few items so the first one is chance to ignite enemies on hit for 100 base damage hitting enemy causes them to take an additional hit for two oh. enemies with less than uh, okay that one i've got then the others was just another page and that looks like it was it When an enemy takes damage within 30 minutes of you, 13 meters of you, you heal for 3 HP. That's pretty. That's pretty decent. That'll be amazing for something like Goku. Where you're literally fighting up close with everything. I did not see the shrine. If I knew who the shrine was, yeah, I would have taken it as well. Any melee, really, yeah, that's true. I just realized something. I am on the wrong profile. I just realized that I am on the wrong profile. Yep. Because this profile, I've actually got everybody unlocked. I've actually got everything unlocked. I had another profile. 
that I was doing testing on specifically for some of the um, additional mods that I have to put in. So I took out a lot of mods uh, because some of them were just affecting the game way too much. So you'll see my character list is a lot shorter than the previous one was. And I think on this profile of mine, because this is my main profile, I think on this one. I think I might have 47 Leaf Clover already unlocked. I just don't think I've ever picked it up, but I did unlock it. I need to see the red items. Um, what looks like a leaf. Do I? See, this is the problem with mods. Is that, uh, there's so much shit. I don't know which one is actually... Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it is there. So I completed the challenge. It's just I haven't picked it up yet since I unlocked it. And no, I don't actually have pilot. Let's do this quickly. So I'm going to go to my account that is still new. There's still some people I need to unlock because I've been having more fun with this account. But I think what I'm going to do is let's quickly do this. I am going to say, be right back. I'm going to quit the desktop and then quickly download Pilot. Online. Pilot. Download. Okay. Pilot is downloaded. I'm starting modded again. Let's test out Pilot, seeing that you say you like it so much. So while the game is busy downloading, I think I'm going to do this. And let's go. It's that one. Yeah, of course. I clicked while it was busy. Start modded. Let's try that again. So you'll see that my... Yeah, that is nice. Well, it also kind of takes away from the experience because one of the things about getting the extra skins and that kind of stuff for all the characters is by completing certain challenges. So, yeah, it's cool, but it also like takes away a bit of the challenge. So you'll see that my mod list is a lot smaller at 66 mods. And a lot of them you'll recognize. Some of them are a little bit different, like the RT Auto Sprint. It means that my character is always sprinting. I don't have to manually constantly switch the whole time to make it sprint and not sprint. It'll, whenever it can, it'll always sprint. Um, Moonstone, Lobby Skins, Cloudburst. Yeah, Ethereum, item stats, void items. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of extra stuff that I um, added in, yeah. Okay, let's go single player and let's test this pilot of yours. Pilot. That's him. Let's do a normal run. Fire weapon for every third hit explodes. Piercing smart gun. Energy grenade. That might sound nice. Parachute. Bombard an area. Let's try this. Let's test this this pilot of yours. One of the things I definitely need to do is grab that. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, kind of short on that one. Yeah, that base damage isn't horrible. Okay, so there's no elements on the hits that I can tell so far. Okay, so movement speed is definitely a thing that has to be invested in. Yeah. You can get that attack speed up, that'll be nice. Wow. Did I already just drop down? <laughs> Onto the fucking thing. Uh, gain movement speed proportionate to the percentage of missing health that I've got. But I don't have any missing health, so how am I faster? Gold coin. Increase armor by 30 while sprinting. Uh, reduces secondary skill by 10%. Using your secondary increases base, base health, re health regen. Nice. Oh, come on. That is ridiculous. Bismuth earrings. Gain 5% bleed chance. Gain a temporary barrier on applying bleed for 15 health. Is that stupid pot. And some sticky bombs. Okay, not bad. Not a horrible way to start. Yeah, you might also notice something different about the um, the Shrines of Chance. One of the mods that I got, because one of the things that I fucking hated was, is you got a Shrine of Chance, you'd have like 500 gold, and then you can spend all of your money in the Shrine, gives you nothing. So... I've got a mod that kind of improves improves the percentages of it. So, activating and interactable spawns a healing orb that heals for 8 plus an additional 10% of maximum health. So there is the orb. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then... Credit card. Yep. The card is nice because get a 5% rebate on purchases. Does this music seem a bit loud for you? Am I too quiet? For me it feels like the music might be a bit too loud. One of the things... Oh, no. I need to be engineer for that. Sound is balanced. Nice. What the hell is this thing? Killing an enemy restores 10% of your max shield. This item will grant 8% of your max health as shield on pickup once. Okay. Holy water, killing an elite enemy grants 2% of your current level experience cap as bonus experience. Nice. The 
not expect to hit that. After inflicting 10 hits, fire a missile that deals 80% of your total damage. That could be OP. Especially if my attack speed is faster. I need a scrapper. There's a golden port, there's a golden shrine, there's no fucking ways I'm doing that now, I will die. There's a chest there. This chest this way and I see the stuff, okay. Okay, so portal is there, so all I'm gonna do is, is do that. But I know where the teleporter is. Another key. I really fucking need a scrapper. Nice. Getting hit causes you to explode in a burst of razors, dealing a hundred. Okay, this is a base item. We know this one. This one, hey, extra damage to bosses. A duck, gain three armor, three, a whole whopping fucking three. See one more chest and then we can go for teleporter. Uh, Cull gives one gold when killing an enemy upon hitting 100 gold, it turns into white scrap. Let's grab the teleporter. I don't know how well we're going to do against the boss right now. We're nine minutes in and we're already starting the second one. Mm, that's okay. Try uh, increases movement speed by 125, fading over one. I don't like this map. There's a shrine up there. Okay, the teleporter is by that pink pillar of fire. No fucking idea what that is. An enemy spawns a healing orb. We've got a fuck ton of healing stuff, but not really a lot of stuff that does damage. The 
increases armor by 25 while health is between 30 and 75. It's 30 and 70. Okay, so at least I have to be damaged for me to gain anything from that. Once again, not an item that I like. Raz Wally, you also doing a run right now. Uh, yes, that will be nice. Your critical strikes deal 10% more damage. Trying to do the 20 stages as well. Yeah. Are you doing it with a... Are you doing a clean run? Or are you doing it with artifacts? Or are you doing it... <gasps> Scrapper. Yes. Okay, first things first. Um, you can disappear. Don't need you. Okay, I don't need you because I'm never close enough. Uh, a hidden cash containing, I don't want the donut. Um, the key. The duck can also go. Okay, we've got five scrap. Five scrap should be pretty nice if we find a nice. Increases armor by 30 while sprinting. Yeah, that's fine. But now that we've got five scrap, if we find a nice 3D printer like with attack speed or bleed or something like that, bleed will kind of be pointless. Attack speed would be really nice and then movement speed, of course. because there was a chest up here. Let's see what we get out of this. One, nothing. Two, nothing. Three, nothing. Utility, don't want it. ATG, very nice. I'll explain what those are now. I'll take that back, thank you. So, the bottle cap that we got reduces your ultimate skill cooldown by 4%. Which is very nice. Actual skill down cool for that. The anchor is pretty cool as well. So after standing still for one second, you'll see on the ground we get a zone around us that increases our damage by 20%. Now you can imagine on the engineer how good that is. Because now not only are your turrets getting inheriting everything you've got, but they're getting an increased damage as well. I'll take a tooth. So the shark tooth increases my base damage by 7%. Now that I've got two of those, I should have a base increase of 14%. Okay, so I know the thing is up there, so I just need to transfer across.
Okay, I've been thrown to the other side of the world. Well, that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, it does make life a lot easier if you do it that way. So, increases damage by 2 for each kill of an enemy with more than 1,000 base health. It makes it more chill. It does. But that's the that's the joy of the game, is the many heart attacks you have when you've spent an hour doing 17 waves and all of a sudden you die on stage 18. Two stages away. Because that's fun. I hate this map, I hate this map, I hate this fucking map. Okay, so we've got a green item, so that's just going to be flat healing. Yeah, okay, let me restore 10% of your max shield. Okay. So by the sound of it so far, all I've got to do is just keep killing and I'm going to get constant healing. We have got broken martini damage, burns enemies. Oh, that might be nice. Healing damage burns enemies for 1.5% max health over 5 seconds. No, that's kind of useless. Especially if you've got low health. Especially if you don't have the most health in the world. Like, that said how much it was? 1.5% of your max health over 5 seconds. Is that 1.5% of its max health or my max health? Because if it's my max health, that's going to be like 4 damage. Nah, that ain't fucking worth it. Yeah, it's doing 9 damage per tick. Okay, so that was shit. Yeah, that's not enough. It's not nearly enough. Crowbar is always welcome. Let's go see if the legendary chest is there. And you know what? Let's start making my life a bit easier. Start grabbing some drones as well. not there this round. That sucks. Okay, so I still haven't actually found the portal. I think it might be downstairs, the one level lower. I will take that one. You see, this is better. Fire a missile that does 80% of my current damage. That's better. I can live with that. What's this? No, definitely not wasting it on that. There's a shrine. Let's take the gunner drone. 
charge based effects have a plus one percent chance of triggering does not work okay hope feather what is that give you 0 0.1 proc coefficient to everything that seems busted A hat, every time you earn $25, reduces your skill cooldown by two seconds. Hmm, nice. Okay. Is this thing gonna take me high enough? No, it didn't. Yep, I'm also happy. Anything that that makes my cooldown faster, I'm happy with. Now comes the question is, I still don't know where the hell the teleporter is. Ah, oh, there it is. All the way up there. There's an equipment drone. No, please don't tell me that that drone just took my piece of equipment. Yes, it did. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because I've obviously I've got to do a lot of that shit over again now. Like unlocking a lot of the characters because I'm doing it on the new profile. Yep. I was not expecting that at, at that moment. And then after I clicked it, I was like, fuck. really don't need this. Chrono Bubble. Slow enemies on hit for 60% movement speed for 2 seconds. Yeah. The problem is I need that piece of equipment to be able to unlock the one character. Rex. Not Rex, sorry. Um. What the fuck is that? That plant looking things name yeah i don't know if it counts having it over there Groot <laughs> if Groot was a character that would be pretty badass Item. Um, prevent one debuff and instant grants temporary barrier for 10 maximum health. 4% chance, chance on hit to spawn a seeking orb that hits nearby enemies for 140 base damage. Okay. I don't like these things that are giving me books that I need to read to understand how it works. Yes, this one I like. It's a bit of AoE, so 13 meters around me. People take damage as well. I, what the hell is this? Nope, I don't want to go invisible. I don't want another percent chance of this, and I don't know what this thing was. Gain 1% bonus damage for every 1% missing health. Actually, this one might be the best out of the ones available to me. Okay, here's a question. Seeing that I still haven't got any movement speed and we're at wave 5, do I just fight Mithrix with this, get Captain Unlocked, and then try a different run for wave 20, or do I just try wave 20 with this?
Yeah, true. But I mean, it'll make it kind of OP, won't it? Okay, fuck it. Let's do Mythrix. Try and get Captain. And then we'll do the 20 waves with... What the fuck is this? I've never seen this is a boss fight before. I don't know what that word is. OP Shmoppy? What the fuck was that? Oh, fuck that. I should not have done that. Also, forgetting I am tiny. Getting back to the portal is going to be difficult. God, I'm slow. Yeah, there's no ways I can do any kind of skip to get up to that fight. I'm going to have to charge the pillars manually myself. This is slow. If that's the trouble that I was having with that thing, I think Mythrix is gonna kick my ass. I think Mythrix is gonna fuck my shit up. Yeah, we never know. I, damn. Okay, there's one pillar. There's a second pillar. Movement speed would have been so nice.
Hey, what up, Maestro? How you doing this evening, bro? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, but last three days, I haven't streamed at all. Um, work got ridiculously hectic, and I was just exhausted, my man. Absolutely exhausted. Did I miss one of the pillars? It was up there where I was. Yes, I did. Yeah, no, so, yeah, I'm asking everybody's forgiveness that I haven't streamed in the last three days. Yeah, no, shit just got way too intense. Is this other item on the roof? We'll test it out now. I know it's back there. This is going to make my life a little bit easier because I'm in a very awkward spot. And most of the things that are going to want to have spawned would have spawned in the room down there. I mean, they can't really get to me. Yep, done. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna make this. One. Two. There we go. That was actually timed quite nicely. thousand fucking gold hopefully I can go over to that area and potentially get some good shit Please tell me you saw what just happened to my health. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Okay, so there is one of the jump pads. I want to be inside there first. I think it's inside there. Dude, it was so, so, so close. supposed to be yeah somewhere around you yeah? there they are is there anything yet that's worth it 
On killing permanently increases your health regeneration by 0 0.2. Nope, that's stupid. Ceremonial. Yes. A dagger would be amazing to have. But I sacrifice three white. And sacrifice... Mm. Okay. Wasn't worth it. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go for that one. I think that's the closest of them. Nah, I think that one's actually closer. Dude, you know how fucking painful it is moving this slowly, trying to move around this moon. Okay, let's see how quickly I die. I highly doubt I'm going to beat Matrix in this fight, but we're going to find out. I'm definitely dying. That's gonna hurt. Okay, phase one. Phase one is done. Phase two. Oh god. Stop taking my shit. Stop taking my shit. Okay, yeah, I just started taking my shit yet. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just quickly focusing over here. Don't take my shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's taking my shit. Okay. Here we go. With a pretty shitty loadout, if I may say so myself. Okay, where am I going? Where's the extraction point? That way. With a pretty shitty fucking loadout. But then again, I was on the easiest difficulty. Okay, made it, made it, yeah, no problem. Now we've got to survive. You're done. Ninety percent. Digits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I remember Matrix being a lot harder than that. Why did that feel so easy? Nope, it was a clean run. Besides the mods, it was a 100% clean run. Awesome. And now I've got the captain. Nice. So, what are we going to do now? Are we quickly going to try and unlock... I'm not doing 50 waves in the simulacrum again. That shit nearly broke me last time. But I'm probably going to have to do that if I want. The Void Fiend again. Now... There is a game mode that I want to start getting better in. And I don't think you've really seen it at all. Right, I'll show you now what it is. Just trying to get so I don't have this new floating up the whole time. Okay, page one is done. 
Oh, fuck it, I'll do this off screen. You guys clearly don't want to see me doing that the whole time. Alternate game modes. Eclipse. So, Eclipse is the normal game mode. Each time you beat the game, your Eclipse level permanently increases. With that survivor, up to a maximum of 8 times. Each Eclipse level has got a modifier that attaches to it that makes the game harder. So, for example, Eclipse level 1. You start with 50% less health. Less health. So let's take this chicky for example. The Xenologist. We know her. We like her. Let's run it. So Eclipse 1. Yep. 50% health. No artifacts available. You can't run artifacts here. Clean run. Loadout. Straightforward. And I figured out how this character works. Hit gain 2.5 to attack speed. Now, oh. yeah, but I think eventually figured out how this character works. So basically, you have to use your special ability, your R, to kill a certain type of creature, normally an elite, increases your base damage by 8% for nice. And once you've killed an elite, for example, if it's a fire elite, you can then pick up the um, the essence, if you want to call it that, and you end up inheriting that those essences. Like you'll start doing fire damage. What was that? Move seven percent faster, slowing effects or twenty percent weaker against your rooting effects. No longer. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I'll, I'll, once I've got an exact actual example to give you, I'll show you. So that 10 that it's representing there, around the normal red one, that means that I have got 10 arrows that I constantly fire in a cycle. If I pick up 3 fire essences, 3 out of my 10 arrows, my plain arrows, get replaced by fire arrows. It uses ultimate skill though. Nope. It's more speed. Thank you. Here we go. See? These things on the ground. So this is glacial. Now you'll see that I've got two glacial ones. Now I start doing... My attack speed obviously drops. My movement speed dropped. But now you can see, now I'm doing freezing as well. Yeah, they could have. It would have been very nice, but it's very difficult to explain this. Like, I kind of get why it was a little bit harder, but yeah. Ignite is nice. Now I just need to find an elite that has actually got um, the fire damage. 
And then I want one menace, which does healing. Because then I can heal myself to fire and um, cold damage. But obviously the more essences I take, the more my attack speed drops. There we go. Uh, let's take you. I did not mean to do that. I think I'm dead. I nearly fucked myself there. I want to kill that guy. There we go. I should have fire essence there now. Yes, now I do fire as well. I'm nearly killing myself in the process. Um, this is going to be nice. Stack it until I guarantee a crit. I need healing. I need healing items, so the one time I don't have healing, healing items. Uh, gasoline. Ooh, attack speed. Attack speed always. Always, always, always. Mm, that's a white item. That's a green item. Do I have green items to give? I think I really want to separate with. You always had a long day, Master. If you're struggling this that way, brother, go get some rest. When are you off again? When are you getting some well-deserved R&R? &R? I'm off tomorrow. Well, that's nice. So call it an early night. That way you get a nice night's rest and you get a nice chill day tomorrow. Then you have three nights. Oof. And let me guess, it's one of those nights, one of those ridiculous hours again. Forty-five until eight forty-five. Oh, ugh. nah, but that's 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 insane. Enemies with less than twenty-five receive permanent damage. That's nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. So this guy that's green. No, it's not a malignant. It's, it's not the one that I thought it was. Increases random stat. Okay. Increases armor by 25, while health is between 30 and 70%. Okay. That's a fork. That's a very nice thing to have. So this guy, I want to kill him. Specifically with uh, my R ability. Fuck. Too late. Because then I would have got that effect, where I get to actually heal. While doing damage. Let's try this and see how it goes.
they all take a nice damage. I died. Because I'm fucking around trying to... Uh, fucking around with the wrong stuff. Uh, let's try Goku with us. Nope. Wrong class. Goku. Start Eclipse. Load out, I want that, and I want that. Yo, yo, what up, JJ? How you doing, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. You alive and I'm glad you you're alive and brother. Yeah, we kind of like you, Maestro. We don't need you going anywhere. Why do you have to stay up? You're waiting for something. You're waiting for those three night shifts. So what do you mean? Wasn't the teleporter around here somewhere? Or am I just going completely fucking mental? It was here, right? And there it is. If I can't stay up after 10 p.m., how much will stay up until 9 a.m.? True, true. So you're basically trying to switch your cycle.
Oh shit, that's true. Payday is just around the corner. It's like the 20th already. Fuck me. It was like fucking yesterday, really. But this month has been hectic, so I've lost complete track of time. Pay me for me, you only started. Yeah, that's rude. I don't think that's a personal thing. I think that's a that's a company policy. Unless you guys work at the same place. I work in the public sector. I get paid on twenty seventh. Oh my god, my health disappeared there. Okay, so I lost my watch. I really don't have the house to be fucking around with this shit. Oh, it's so goddamn low. Yeah, you. Well. Oh. He can be, but like you saw there, I just fucking I'm down to nine health already. If you get him going, yes, he becomes easily OP. Once you start getting to that Super Saiyan level three, yeah, three HP. <laughs> Once you start getting to that Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God level, it becomes a lot harder to kill you. And also depends on what items you've got complementing you. But trust me, because I'm playing on Eclipse right now, this is Eclipse level 1. It goes through to Eclipse level 8. Even Goku's gonna struggle. Eclipse is a completely different monster.
And as you can see, you have to be very specific with these movements, or you're going to get yourself fucked very quickly. I'm not dealing with that shit. Fuck that noise. I'm gonna die. Not as OP as you think. There's a limit to every single character. But yeah, that's playing on Eclipse. Eclipse is a lot fucking harder. Hey, it's me, Goku. Let's play with the character that I actually enjoy quite a lot. Normal, no, no artifacts and not eclipse. Just a normal, easy, straightforward run. Shouldn't be too difficult. We're gonna try and go to obliteration. tonight and base damage increase always I need to make sure my flicks on point That door's closed. And if it's not on this side, I can't go up on this stage. Oh no, I can. There it is up there. Oh my god, really? Ooh, I'm choking. Reduce damage taken from the elite monsters. I forgot how I get upstairs. I'm embarrassing myself here. Mistake. Eh, it's better than nothing. I really have got only one damage item.
Increase critical strike chance by 10%. Every 5 critical strikes unleashes a barrage of slashes dealing 300 by 3%. Uh, what is that item again? Summons a beetle god. Nope. Do not want you. Not on this build. Okay, well, here's a benefit. I already know where the teleporter is. Yeah, let's start getting some items, please. Lock reflection. Don't know what that does. Don't have the time to try and figure it out right now either. Super glue. On kills, slow enemies within 80 meters. Credit card. Get a 5% rebate on purchases. Anchor after standing still for one second. Might be nice because that extra damage zone, because I have to stand still most of no, I don't. Most of my shots are moving. A healing orb. Oh my god, do I have shit right now. Another donut. I've got two donuts. What the fuck am I gonna do with two donuts? I will try my best. Do I do it? Yes or no? Shrine of the Mountain. It means I fight double the bosses. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I don't even know what that thing is. Like, is it just me or am I barely seeing any chests? There's a chest underwater. And a maximum chance to dodge attacks. The slower you're moving, full chance while not moving. 
and then something 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 god damn the people who create these things should not make these things so confusing I died, Amaron was going so well. What wave did you get to? Oh, I definitely want to go there. the fastest way for me to get up there i can't physically jump there no oh wait hold on maybe yes i want to go to the bazaar for one specific reason stage seven or eight damn yeah bye bye stage seven or eight sometimes by around by like stage 12 it starts getting hard doesn't matter what difficulty you're on things start doing a fuck ton of damage at that point Oh my god, yes. Right, Wally. And what we said about the 3D glasses. One, two, three. I got three of them now. A critical strike um, damage just went up by 6 of 18%. Concentrate you yourself and allies. Concentrate allies gain 40%. Damage and attack speed, but lose 35% max health. Well, that's just fucked up. What did I do? I know I introduced him to the game, but like... I can't be blamed for everybody's mistakes. is the right thing to do true true when in doubt blame the streamer right what make you guys think that i used to play a lot of call of duty when i was younger the even combat boost your movement speed like, it's nice and all, but I need to start getting damage. I'm going to seriously not I need to start getting damage. I don't know what I just picked up. Instantly heal for 50% of your maximum health. Nice, it's an equipment. I posted a screenshot on Discord. It was the stage prior to my death. Nice. I'll go have a look at it. Actually, let's go have a look at it right now. Uh, let's bring this up. Let's go back to the game on this page. Um, my man, did you have enough turrets? Oh my god. Wait, what is that? You had. Seven syringes, six critical strikes, six glasses. I know what your problem is. I can see it straight away. You had no teddy bears. You had zero um, topaz brooches. And you had zero of the armor reductions. You went for pure damage. Pure, pure damage is what you focused on in that run.
I did only damage run. They are fucking powerful. They're really strong. But you need to remember at some point you're going to start taking damage. If you can, anywhere in a run, after you've got some stuff that's pretty decently doing damage, get yourself about five to seven brooches, about five to seven of those flat redamage reduction um, shield things. Um, the shield generator is also a very nice thing to have. And then teddy bears. If you can get 10 teddy bears on you, that's awesome. If you got that shit, you're sorted. And then damage. If you don't want any other healing items, if you don't want to focus too much or take too many slots or spots away from your damage items, definitely topaz brooches and SPGs. Teddy bears, teddy bears preferably as well. And also, brother, you're doing a, um, a command run. You can choose your items. Get yourself some fungus and then um, sacrifice 50% of your health at those void items. And then um, get the, the void fungus which heals you while you're sprinting. And then also on the green item, you've got that um, that leeching seed that um, heals you while you're doing damage. Let me do it this way. Uh, Ah, oh, see, I can't do it over here. I'll do it at the end of this run and I'll show you. There's a mod I'm going to tell you to get. I'll show you once I finish off this round. Yeah, I saw that. Your character one hundred percent chose violence, but the problem is then then when somebody else decided violence as well, your as got your cheeks got clapped. Okay, let me deal with this guy quickly and then I'll show you. Please tell me you saw that. Please somebody clip that. I think that was a four in one. <laughs> okay, so the mod that I want you to download, it's called Command Q. So if you press tab, a screen pops up. In here, you can tell your command, your items of command, the items you want to pick up so that you don't have to because normally if it drops on the floor, you've got to run up to it, you've got to um, activate it, and you've got to select out of the menu. Over here, you can say 1, 2, 3, 1, let's say 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to start doing some health. 1, 2, 1, 2, and let's go 1, 2, 3. 
and then let us say you want some glass you want some of this and then your next green item is going to be a ukulele and stuff now you have a look at the top i've got a queue of things that command is automatically going to choose for me so obviously you can't do this while you're while you're um but as you can see my command queue has been set so one game you just need to come in set this queue as you would normally want things and then yeah and then you just right click on it to get rid of it sorry about the zooming in there and you can set the order of the next things that your command queue is going to select for you it makes it a little bit nice and a little bit better like preparations you can actually think ahead but come on how, how clean was that lineup and JJ wasn't even yet to witness it. Disgusting. I'm really getting some shit items this round. What's the cost of the legendary? Uh, 1,300. link yeah links don't work unfortunately well uh, not unfortunately i kind of set them that way you want to share a link with me you gotta uh, whisper to me Ooh, nice yeah share it on the discord see this shit uh there it is there clips and highlights let's go there i'm gonna feature this clip let's bring this over here <laughs> oh, that was sexy. That was so nice. Yeah, what makes you think that Sniper was my favorite class in Call of Duty back in the day? No clue, none at all. to have but well, let's see what it takes from me it took a steak that's fine i'll take a fork i'll take that oh there's a scrapper i might want to spend some time with that scrapper please remind me at the end of the round not to just leave but to actually make use of the scrapper before i go
And I think that's good enough for now. Wait, what is this one again? Rock coefficient. I'll take that. Guaranteed. Thank you. That lightning that you just saw go shit like that, like that ukulele. That was as a result of that proc coefficient. It procced over and over and over. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Okay, where the hell is the teleporter? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> where the fuck is the teleporter? Oh. Fuck this, where the hell is the teleporter? It's not back there, it's not back there. Oh, hold on. If it's not in there, it's probably inside there. If I can't see it on this part of the map, it's probably inside the cave. I haven't had many situations where it's actually high up there. There's a good possibility it's in this cave. But there's no guarantee of that either. missed nope there we go I knew it was yep found it to use the scrapper. Yeah, boss is dead. Is everybody dead? Do I really want to run all the way back to the scrapper? Where does this entrance come out? The scrapper's right there. Okay, cool. It's not too far. I just spent all the money that I had and I just got a bunch of stuff and I'm not 100% sure of what it was. Okay, scrap it. Okay, so first things first. Um, 
This thing can go. There's no point in that for me. Critical strike chance. I'll leave that. I'll leave that. Nope. I don't want the donuts. So enemies above 90% health. That's fine. That's fine. Increase damage. Okay. Rebate on purchases. Oh no, I'm off on the wrong thing here. These... The, the descriptions, check it out. I don't know if you can see that, but the descriptions don't actually match up with the pictures. Like we know this is called 3D glasses. Yeah, that's saying it's Topaz brooch and Topaz brooch is all the way over here. Okay. So, let's not scrap anything because there's a good possibility I end up scrapping something I actually want. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the delicate watch. Two damage increase. So we're going to obliteration on this. So probably the next map is going to be the purple place where you go to matrix yeah thought as much so i want to get out of here quickly because i don't want to do the matrix fight we want to go to obliteration Oh, come on. Something spawn. There's a whole bunch of stuff down on that side. Thank you. Enemy takes damage within 13 minutes of you. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Let's go call a DD this shit. And we're looking for 3D printers with movement speed. Preferably. I'll take that. It seems very quiet for some reason. Another fork. Base increase of damage. Nice. Well, I'm ahead of we're struggling. At your nice all game and have a lovely evening further. And thank you again for being here. Appreciate it as always. See you tomorrow. Uh, not actually. I'm going to be working from home tomorrow. I 
Until next time, brother, look after yourself, be safe, and yeah, see you next time. And thank you very much for being here. Oh, fucking stop throwing me off. Speedrun. I think I've got enough damage. I think I've got enough health. Now we're not going to bother picking up anything else. We can run straight for the teleporters and speedrun our way through to stage 8 so that we can transfer out of here. Teleporter is that way. across something that's right by us we're not going to ignore it but we ain't gonna go clearing the map now for stuff Is that match done? Stage six. Who said we're running? I ain't running. No way, I'm tired. <laughs> Trust me. Speed running. I'm glad it involves me sitting behind my computer because if anybody asks me to run, like I'm not running to save my life. It's that bad. Like my ass don't run. I'll pick up heavy shit for you. Don't ask my ass to run anyway. Yeah, attack speed on that one wouldn't be bad. But I'm still looking for the teleporter. And I can sometimes hide it back there. Oh, you can fuck off. You were completely unnecessary to be here. I struggled to see shit for a while. Okay. I don't know if the teleporter is done yet because I can't see anything. Nope, doesn't look like it's down this way. Okay. Like, how am I supposed to see shit in this? Wait, I see particles. There it is. Found it. And let's go. No, 
No, that doesn't help me. He's fucking up there. Thank you. I'm trying to shoot that fucking thing in the dark. Okay, the next stage should be obliteration. Almost got this. This one will fuck you right before I leave. And there we go. Obliteration is done. That means mission successful. Not like that, it won't be. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Always get that one too short because I don't know where the rocks are. Only if I've got some kind of like ridiculous movement speed. Do I get that one right? And then every time I fall, I lose even more damage and fuck off. See, that one, fine. This one, fine. This one is always the fuck up. There we go. Fine. And there we go. GG. Obliterated. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, all you beautiful, sexy, lovely individuals, that is where I am going to leave it for this evening. That is me done and dusted. I am now going to relax for a couple of minutes before I hit the sack. I'm exhausted after this last week. I wanted to come back to the stream, obviously return to my lovely viewers. Make sure that you guys have your, your daily dose of night. And now that you've had that, we can continue to our regular shows Monday to Sunday. 
JJ, thank you very much for being here as always, man. I really do appreciate it. So, before I say goodbye to everybody, remember, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. If you want to go have a look, subscribe, that's up to you. If not, I appreciate the views. I am trying to grow this community. So, if you want to share this with friends, family, share it with other streamers, share it with other individuals that you know, I really would appreciate it. Any kind of word of mouth out there to try and bring attention to the channel would be greatly greatly appreciated however i hope you have a lovely evening and or day depending on where you're from look after yourselves be safe much love and i'll see you in the next one cheers brother